Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the presentation. It's a great pleasure to be here in the anniversary of, of Pavel. That we met a long time ago in a conference in Ubatuba, in a real conference with every, where everybody was present. And those were, that were not present were not there. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, I am not an expert in, in, in profanate groups, so my my talk is not about profanate groups, is, but at the end there will be something, okay, some connection. Okay, uh, I list there a lot of co-authors that will show up here and there in, 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 the, in different parts of my talks. Okay, so the first two are a student of mine and other people are cooperators that that will show. Oh, is it better that way? Great, thank, thank you. So, all through my talk, G, and always there will be a second group, will be a finite groups. Okay, so other non finite groups will show up, but the, the, everything started with, with two finite groups or with one finite group, and then we have a ring which in the situations where this is going to be used to produce a group ring, the ring R will be always commutative, but it's not really important. So this is the group ring of G over R, okay? And the general question, is uh, which information from RG can be obtained or derived from RG, okay? And here RG is considered as a, an R algebra, okay? So for example, something simple the cardinality of the group is simply the rank of the group algebra as R algebra. Okay, so this is an obvious information that can be obtained from the group algebra. But this is very little information. I mean, the the like the the maximum that you want to obtain is 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 the group itself, all the groups. So the the the, the main question is. The, or well, the main question, the isomorphism problem is about this question, is that uh, can the isomorphism type of G can be uh, obtained from the isomorphism type of RG as, as algebra, okay? Okay. Uh, well, this, this is basically what is known as the isomorphism problem. Which is the maximum that you, you, you would like to have, okay? So let me rephrase it, the isomorphism problem. And, and abbreviated depends on the ring. So is whether RG isomorphic to R H implies G isomorphic to H. Okay, this is the, the question. Of course, it's easy to, to obtain negative solution or negative nose, say, okay, for example, if, uh, if G is a billion, G and H is a billion, then the, the complex group algebra is isomorphic to the complex group algebra of H if and only the car they have the same cardinality. And so on, this gives you a lot of negative solutions, okay? Uh, well, maybe I can show you, uh, this, this is wrong because it's, this should be actually 63, I made a mistake. 
Uh, so there is a, a famous uh, survey paper by Richard Brower, very influential, where the, this question already appeared, but actually the question already appeared in, in work of, of Milner that I will mention. Okay, for example, it's clear, it was clear that as this example show you that there are situations on which the group algebra is not going to give you the, the, the isomorphism type of the group, but and then in this problem too that uh, Brower mentioned, uh, he wrote this, when do non-isomorphic group have isomorphic group algebras? Here uh, the coefficients were fields. Okay, and, and Richard Brower, Brower uh, wrote that I cannot answer either question. I'm not even sure that they have a good complete answer. Still, they will be important in giving some direction to our work. Uh, return to my talk. Well, as I told you, I mean, already he, before uh, this survey paper by Brower, already there is a, a, like a first important uh, result in this direction. First important positive result is, is by Higman, which proved that if G is a billion and the integral group ring is isomorphic to the integral group ring of another group, then the groups are isomorphic. Okay, uh, so this is a positive solution over the integers, and we have negative solution over the complex. And somehow the idea is that the bigger is the coefficient ring, the 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 more difficult is to have a positive answer. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is this comes from this uh, elementary observation. Uh, if if S is an an all are an our algebra, then SG is isomorphic to S tensor R of, over R with RG. And so because of that, if RG is isomorphic to RH, then SH is isomorphic to SG. SG is isomorphic to SH, okay? And so, uh, um, well, a positive solution for the isomorphism problem for the for S implies a positive solution for R. Okay, if, if, if the isomorphism problem is correct, is true, it has a positive solution over this S algebra, then over R is true. But the, the, the other implication is false, as, as this example of the result of him and this example shows. So every ring is a set algebra, okay? So in practice, if you have a negative solution over the integers, you have a negative solution over all the rings at the same time. And a positive solution for some ring give over. So somehow the integral group ring is, is like the, the, main, the main ring that you might be interested. Although people working in, in, uh, on this problem many, with many different rings, and especially with often with where the coefficient are, is a field. Uh, another result that, okay, something in between the complex and the integers, uh, you can consider the rationals. And there is another result by Perlis and Walkers in 1915, which is basically the same result by Higma, but also with rational coefficients. So it's a stronger result because the, the, the uh, positive solution for the integers are like weak results because then the, the, the bigger the ring, the, but the idea is that if G is a billion again, then and if the rational group algebras of KG and KH are isomorphic, then the, the group are also isomorphic. So, so for a billion, at least over the rational, we have a positive solution, but not over the uh, Well, let me go back to this Brower, uh, this, uh, the survey of Brower, where he has this version of problem two, on which he, uh, he put a stronger condition, uh, a stronger hypothesis is, uh, so the, the the, the problem asked is whether if two, if two groups are isomorphic, okay, 
uh, or sorry, if two groups have isomorphic group algebra over every ground field, not only over one, if whether this implies that the group are isomorphic. So we know that this, uh, the answer is negative when you just use one particular field as, for example, the complex. Uh, okay, but the question is here is if the group algebra is isomorphic over the, all the groups, over all, all the fields, then this implies that the groups are, uh, are isomorphic. And, and the answer is no. And this, there is a result by day. Result. Actually, he produces from 1971, produced to two non isomorphic groups. with isomorphic group algebras for every field. Okay. Uh, actually, these two groups are metabillion. So you don't have to go to very complicated groups to obtain this, this negative solution to this stronger uh, Brouwer version. Uh, but there were already, at that time, a result by uh, with Com, which says that this is not possible if you allow integers. Okay, so if G is metabillion and the integral group brings are isomorphic, then the groups are isomorphic. So in this situation, the, the isomorphism problem has a positive solution. Okay, I, I want to show you some part of the book of Passman on group rings, okay, which I like this. this this paragraph, I'm going to read it. Uh, here is talking about these two, uh, I mean, these two groups from date. He said that we remark that it is really not surprising that KG1, KG2 are isomorphic for fields of characteristic different from Q. I must tell you that the, these two groups in the, this, in the sample, in this counter sample by date, are of order divisible by exactly two primes. One of them is Q, okay? And what is surprising, say, Passman continues, is that they are isomorphic when the characteristic is Q and that this isomorphism is so easily proved. In any case, we see that the group ring over all fields do not contain sufficient information to uniquely determine the group. There are, however, two glimmers of hope that I like. Two glimmers of hope. The first concern integral group rings. So so far I, I didn't. I mean all the positives of all the results I told you about integral group rings were positive. Okay, uh, so that was the first glimmer of hope according to Passman. Uh, so this will be like the isomorphism problem over the integers. Okay, and the second one concerns p groups over uh, the field with elements. Okay, this is what is known as the modular isomorphism problem, and I will tell about that later. Um, okay, and then the Fasman was saying that he was going to, to show that this positive result that by Whitcomb that I mentioned that over the metabillion groups, um, these two groups, as I told you, were metabillion. Uh, so the, the isomorphism problem with integral coefficient has positive solution. This is what Fasman was doing. So there, there are these two, two questions. One was that uh, Passman was mentioning, which is the isomorphism problem over the integers. And the second is the modular isomorphism problem. And, and I will talk first a little bit about the isomorphism problem over the integers and, and later about the modular isomorphism problem. Well, so for a while, oh, there was some kind of of, well, there are many 
positive result uh, about the isomorphism problem over the integer. So let me mention only two that this has a positive solution uh, for, uh, sorry, a billion by nilpotent groups. Of course, this is, is generalized the result of Whitcomb. This is a result of Rogenkamp and Scott in 87. And another result that I will I will I mention, but there are several, but or many, but I just want to pick up two. The result of Kimmerle says that it's also true uh, that it has a positive solution for super solvable groups. However, uh, in, there is, it doesn't hold in general. So in, in 2000, in the year 2000, uh, Martin Herzweg, when he was very young, founded two non-isomorphic finite, always finite groups. G and H with isomorphic integral group. So said that this implies that then they have isomorphic group rings for every ring. Okay, so this, these are non isomorphic groups with isomorphic group rings for all the groups. Okay, uh, let me point out. That well, metabillion means a solvable length minus two, and these two groups have solvable length. They are solvable, and they are solvable in length four. Okay, and it is open whether it so holds over the integers for solvable length three. In the, in the paper of, of Herpe, he mentioned the construction that he did. He specifically mentioned that he was not able to, to, to go to, to lengthy. So somehow this is the, like the border question. So that the still is, is open. Okay. So uh, now let me just uh, tell you a little bit about work with, with one of my students, with Angel Garcia Blázquez, uh, on which we, were, we are trying to find a, a nice class for which the, the isomorphism problem can have a positive solution when we consider rational coefficients. So as the Perlis and Walker uh, result tells you, it, it, uh, the isomorphism problem in this case has a positive solution for a billion groups, but a negative solution for meta billion. So we would like to find something in between or necessarily, or try to find a, a nice class or a, an important class or, a, or, or a list, which is on where, where the isomorphism problem has a positive solution, which is more than meta billion, but less than, no, more than a billion or less than a billion, and, but more than meta billion. And so we prove at least this result, which still is, is less than what I wanted, but okay, at least it's a, a first step that if G and H are metacyclic, oops, this comes to metacyclic. And nilpotent, this is what I, I want to, to, and I think that we are close to, to exclude this hypothesis because we know much more. So I'm just going to report this, just to make it this is my thought. So uh, then, well, and the rational group algebra are isomorphic, then the, the groups are isomorphic, okay? Uh, let me point here that in the previous result, I only put an hypothesis in one of the groups, 
here you have to put a hypothesis on, on the two groups. Because for this, uh, if you take a B a not prime, sorry, yes, a not prime, uh, and then you take G and H, the two non abelian groups. order p to the q. So one of them is metabillion. So this is cp squared semi-direct cp with an action of order p. And this is the, 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 the extra special group where c is central and as exponent p. And c is just the commutator of b and a. Um, well, they are not isomorphic, but the rational group and algebras are isomorphic. So if this is another counter uh, negative solution over the uh, rationals, but one of the groups is not better set. Okay, but and of course these are the important group because there are P groups. Uh, I think that we can remove this hypothesis, but okay, we are working on it. So more or less it's done, but we still need to check some accounts and some uh, details, some technical details. Okay, now I'm going to report on the on the modular isomorphism problem. Uh, remember, so the modular isomorphism problem, yes, let me set it in a formal way. Is FP is the is this question. So it's the isomorphism problem in the particular case where the groups are P groups, finite P groups, and the coefficient ring is, is just the field with P elements. Well, this is the 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 the, the classical statement. Uh, well, people also consider situation where instead of considering the as coefficients just the field with p element, you consider a field with of characteristic p. Okay, but sometimes this maybe can be replaced by f uh, of characteristic. Well, I started working on on this question in. Cornel Broche, I was visiting him long, uh, like four or five years ago, more or less, here in Brazil. And so I never worked on that before, and he did also did and was, has not worked. And okay, we decided that it was a nice topic. So we started looking at the literature, and, and well, let me mention some positive results. So that was a, an open question at that moment. Um, of course, there is, okay, we found a solution in characteristic two, but to me, it's still an open question, okay? In, or characteristic, I said different from two, and, but I will tell, you will see what, why I said this. Um, okay, so we were looking for that, so I start learning about this question, and so I, I look at, at the possible, positive results available in the literature. And I found it, among others, a few that I'm going to, to report at this moment. So for example, when the groups were a billion, then the answer is positive. This is a result of Benstein's in 1956. And then when the Jennings length, I'm not going to tell this, but maybe you know what is that. What is the Jennings length? But okay, it's at most three. Then it's also, it has, it's, the answer is positive. This is a result of Parsi and Segal in Also for two groups of maximal class. This is a result of Carlson. For metacyclic, this 
okay, somehow the previous result, I was not very pleased or not very excited, okay, but when I saw metatrix, okay, maybe this is. This is a result of Mike Ginsky from 1888. There is also contribution by Sarlin from much later, okay, with other methods, okay. Also for elementary abelian, by cyclic, also for Paginski. I don't want to go to the next page because let me use this space to, to, to report also some results uh, just on the on the side. So, uh, so it's also true when the order of the group is P to the N for N at most five. Okay, this is here, these are contribution of Passman. In 1965, he did it for N equal four, and for small NCC, and for Markaya Cities, Salim, and Sandlin. And they completed for N equal five. And for the order, when the order of the group is two to the N, for N at most eight, and here there are many contributors, Lenhard, Kimmerle, Logenkamp, uh, Oops, Burston, and Bettina Eich, and Kornovalov. Okay. These are late results. And where, for example, the last, all these results for N uh, at least six, they use computers. Okay. Actually, uh, the program from Eik and Konovalov were that they used to prove the modularization of fusion problem for group of order two to the eight actually has some um, bug. So, um, but this was fixed. Uh, recently by uh, well, by Margolis and and Melde. okay so they fixed this result for order two to the eight but actually they they, they claim they, they, that they already have proof for order two to the nine with the same program but this cannot be fixed as as I will show you okay so at that this result by Eik and, and Konovalov, they, they was believed at the, at, that, at the certain moment that was correct, that the modularization of fusion problem has a positive solution for order two to the name, but it's false, as, as I did. Okay, so that, why I didn't want to go to another page, because I want you to look at all these results, and to me were extremely disappointing. Okay, because the, well, actually the, the, the papers, the, the, the arguments to prove this result were very nice. I mean, they use strong mathematics, but in the end, with a strong assumptions. Okay, so the, all the hypotheses where they obtain the positive result, to me, it looks very strong. Okay, okay, and since I was starting and just to, 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 to understand a little bit about the problem. So I decided to go, well, a little bit, go farther and, and to consider some class, which is a bit more general than those classes, okay? Or close to one of these classes. And so we decided that the, that the good class could be uh, something a bit more than metacyclic, still metabillion, but not metabillion because in general, because it's maybe too much. And so we decided to, to consider the class of two generated uh, cyclic viability. Okay. Oh, well, and then eventually we obtain some positive result with Broche, but with additional assumption. So we prove MIP for two generated of class 
okay? For class two, the, the, the problem, the modularization of fusion problem is still open in general, but for two generated of class two, we, we managed to prove it. And then, but we wanted to go farther and, and well, Somehow, naively, I, I expected that this class of groups could be groups always. I mean, groups of order power of prime might be classified, but they were not in general, okay? They were classified for P different from two. And even the classification somehow, to me, there were two classifications, one by Mier and another by Son. And they were very calm. Okay, so I was not able to, to really get a, a, some idea of why this classification, why classifying this and this form. So we, I decided, or we decided with Osnel Brocher, uh, myself and later my student Diego Garcia Luca, okay, to find a classification which also includes P equals two and, and to just to, to, to have some tool to attach. So we wanted to know what makes two groups of this class isomorphic, okay? So we obtain a certain classification in terms of some numerical invariance. Well, every group of this kind has a certain presentation, this is obvious. We'll take a, the commutator, so you just give the, the, the site of the commutator, say P to the M, and then you have to give the action of the VIs on A, and this is a certain power of A, and VI say of, assume that for example, we are in the situation that the dry subgroup has ordered P to the M and the G modology prime. I am assuming always that the group is non empty. This, so if it is to generate it, then the, the group the abelianization is also. So if you have a certain situation, so you always have a certain presentation like that. Okay, so it's depending on certain numbers with they satisfy certain uh, conditions. Okay, but of course, equal uh, different numbers may Reach to lead to, to isomorphic groups. Okay, so you is you have to do something more sophisticated, or the idea is to, to decide which numbers produce isomorphic groups. Okay, and this is what this is a was a long project that it took us a lot of time to obtain such classification. Somehow uh, we divide the these two numbers into I'm not going to enter into details, but in, into any other four tuple of numbers. And this another two is for one prime or two prime. So this notation is crazy, but it has some sense, but I'm not going to explain. But in the end, uh, the group is determined by a list of 10 numerical invariants. And sorry for that. And you, you have to decide which of these lists corresponds. So the, the idea is to select these numbers in a way that they are unique for the group. Okay? So the idea is that two of these groups are isomorphic if and only if they, they have the same invariance, okay? So in, with some technicalities that I'm not going to explain, we obtain a complete classification, which is this ugly theorem that even is too, too small, on which the one obtain the description of the, uh, between, uh, well, the bijection between the isomorphism classes of two generated uh, cyclic viabilian groups of prime power order. And this list, which has to satisfy some ugly condition. Okay, so okay, maybe this is 
not nice, it's not nice <laughs> at all, but it helps us because it gives us a way to, to attack the modularism of vision problems. So some, some kind of, idea of focus, okay? So you start with your uh, group, which is to generate a cyclic variability, and you want to know if the list of invariants The question is whether these invariants are determined by the isomorphism type of FPG, or you can have replace FP by a, another field of characteristic P. Okay. And for example, the first four, oops, the first four are easy to determine, are it's easy to see that they are determined by the group algebra because I mean, the, the cardinality of the derived subgroup is P to the M and the Abelian asset is C P M N1 times C P M2. And so this is okay. But then okay, would you need to, to prove it whether, or to, to see if, whether the, the other um, numbers can be determined or not, okay? And so we start working and working, and I must say we were very lucky. We were very lucky, and we found a counter sample with somehow the first numbers, okay? So we this was an open problem for many, many years, and just looking at this class, which for me at the beginning it was, okay, maybe in this class I, was, I will be able to do it, what they would do with that, what we found is the opposite. So with, this is with um, Garcia Lucas and Leo Margolis. Uh, we found these two groups, which has a very, very similar presentation. They can, this can be expressed in terms of the invariants. So they are going to be two groups. So in this case, P is going to be two, M is going to be two also. And then uh, N2 and N1 are two numbers which are greater than two and N1 is still greater than N2. Uh, and so the rest of the presentation is like that. Of course, A is the commutator. B1, to the P and sorry to the P P and one and B two to the P and two are also one. So this means that, for example, the last four integers. Oops. R1 in, the, in this list of invariants. Uh, B, no, sorry. A conjugated by B1 is A inverse. And the only difference is the conjugation by B2, which for the first one is the inverse and for the second one is A. So this is how they differ only in this part of the presentation because they satisfy the condition of the theorem that I showed you, you know that this, I mean, that the, I mean, the, the, this associate other numbers, so O1 and O2 are also zero, but here the difference is, well, sigma one is also minus one and sigma two, in one of them is one and in the other is minus one. So then we know that the groups are not isomorphic, but let me tell you another reason why they are not isomorphic without going through this classification. The reason is that the centralizer of the derived subgroup of the same first one has order two to the n one, but for the second one, the order of the centralizer is half of the one of the one. So this tells you that the groups are not isomorphic, and that was not difficult. The difficult part was proving that f G is isomorphic to FH for every field of characteristics. Oh, no, sorry, characteristic 
here I made the mistake because of course P is always two. Ah. Okay. For all, of, for every field of characteristic. So this this solve in the negative the modular isomorphism problem for characteristic two. Uh, and so, what about characteristic greater than two? Okay, when you see this sample, you you see you may think, okay, there should be some way to 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 adapt this 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 sample to obtain some counter sampling characteristic arbitrary characteristic p but it is not the case, okay? Well, if we restrict to this particular class, okay, remember that we have a, a long list of invariants, okay? And, and we wanted to prove that if the group algebra is isomorphic, then of two groups of this kind, then the list of invariants should be the same. So you want to recognize the list of invariants from the, from the group algebra, okay? Which is not the case in, when P is two, as, and in this situation, Sorry, remember that here uh, in this sample is the, 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 the entries five and six, but well, the five is the same, but the, the six are different. Okay. In characteristic greater than two, actually the sigma one and sigma two are always one. So there is no, there is not going to where you were going, you are going to find a, a difference. Okay. And, and then we, with uh, Garcia, Lucas, and Stanovkovsky, uh, we prove that also O1, O2, O1 prime, and O2 prime, remember? So we already have the first six invariants are recognizable by the group algebra. So we prove that the next four, not the first six, one, two, three, four, four. Yes, the next four, well, the next two in this case, okay, cannot be different because they, they are equal. And then the next four, we prove that there are also are determined by the group algebra for every field of characteristic, okay? But we still don't know about the last two. So we don't know in this class, we have a positive or negative, or there is a counter sample or, or there is not a counter sample, but the only way to find a counter sample is with groups which differs in, in one of the last two invariants. Okay, so this is a still ongoing project, I would say, but somehow it's, it's becoming too hard. Okay. Um, so the modular isomorphism problem is still open for P different from two, or maybe it's two, no, okay. Okay, um, I'm going back now to, to the isomorphism problem over the inputs for and this is yeah, some joint work with Sheila Sagas in, and Pavel Saleski that recent job work. And here is, um, well, I, I met Pavel for the first time around 2004, 2005, more or less in, in Ubatuba here in Brazil in, in a conference for some, also some birthday conference by, for Cesar Pozzino Milias. Uh, and after my talk, Pavel approached, I'm very shy, I, <laughs> I am, but he is not shy and he approached to me and he started asking questions. And this is what is good from Pavel, he always has very good questions. <laughs> so, and, and from these questions, okay, eventually we start cooperating. Actually, our background is, is kind of far away. So, in, but this, his questions are nice. And so we, we had some, operation over the years. And I'm going to report on the last uh, uh, questions, on the last result that we obtained. And, and also it was, it was somehow related with question that he made in, at a certain point, okay? Okay, let me, of course, if the groups are isomorphic, the group algorithms are isomorphic, 
and we know that the, 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 the other implication should be the isomorphism problem, and we know that it doesn't work. And of course, if the groups are isomorphic, the group of units are isomorphic, okay? And actually this is, I was working on units of integral group for many years, and actually the, the, the reason, the, the, the way some people argue why the units are important, often is because the connection with the isomorphism problem. The groupings are, in, are isomorphic, then the units are in isomor uh, isomorphic. The groups are inside the, the, the group of units, and somehow you want to recognize the group the, inside there. Okay? And in fact, the, the first result that I mentioned by, from Hickman actually is just looking at units. Okay? So because if the group are abelian, somehow the units the torsion units are the only one that coming from G, G, the elements of G and the opposite, okay? And this is connected with some problems that came later with the Sasse house conjecture, but then somehow the, the, the connection with the isomorphism problem uh, makes the units interesting, okay? And then in a co another conference in Cadiz, uh, Pavel came and asked, I was with Eric Jesper and Pavel came to us and ask whether this implication of oh, yeah. this other implication is true. And okay, I thought, why we never thought about that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I remember that I went for lunch with Eric and we solved the question during the lunch time. So the answer is yes. Okay, so it's, it's true that and and so, and, and because we solve it during lunchtime, uh, okay, so as you can imagine, it's not that difficult to prove this, okay? Um, but this is not what I'm going to say. Uh, and then the last visit from uh, Pavel to Murcia, that was one year ago, he, of course, you have, if the units, if these two groups are isomorphic, the profanate completions are isomorphic. Okay, and okay, this is the next question. Somehow is whether the <coughs> finite quotients of the integral of the group of units determines the group of units. This is, okay, I don't know the answer, okay. But okay, we, we manage to, to obtain some, some positive result in some particular groups, okay? Well, a lot of the cooperation with Pavel was related with the, with, okay, some research that he did on uh, Bianchi groups, okay? And the Bianchi groups are connected with the, with the group of units because I'm not, I don't want to, to say many things technical, but because, okay, somehow the group of units can be determined up to uh, commensurability by the units of the orders in the components of the, the, the composition, the way the composition of the rational group algebra. And there are some components which are hard. And then some people decided to call a special. Because I don't have too much time, I don't, I'm not going to tell you precisely what is special, but let me tell you that there are two kind of special components. That means uh, simple algebras, okay, which somehow there are not to be. Okay, actually I will tell you, in this case there are division algebras, which are not totally definite quaternion algebras. And these are two by two matrices over special uh, division algebras, uh, but a few of them. So, and, and when the, the, whether the, the composition has only this kind of algebras, then you can say something about the units, but it's too specific, too technical, that you don't want to know at this moment, I guess. But we were able to prove 
uh, uh, Rochelle. Uh, I don't want to, to take too much time off. This is with Chagas and um, Pavel. So that Pavel. Uh, where, okay, so we determine the structure of the group of units. when the all uh, simple all non commutative simple components of the rational group algebra are either totally definite quaternion algebra or exceptional of type 2 okay so this is, so the, I'm not going to tell you what is virtual special, it's something geometrical. Okay, that is geomet in the geometrical group theory are, is important, but it's this. Okay, uh, but also as a consequence, the, the, in this case, in this particular case, in that case, All these are equivalent. So the, the, the isomorphism problem has a, a positive solution in this particular case, but also the finite quotients determines the groups, actually, the original groups, and then everything, of course. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the result. And let me tell you one more thing, not mathematical. Uh, I wonder if. The first, if we had met only in online conference, if we, if our cooperation would have existed, I think that it existed because we met in person, and after the my talk, Pavel approached to me, and then we talk and we walk on the beach, and then we have a beer and we keep talking, okay. And so somehow I think that we should go to mainly present conferences because I think they are very profitable for mathematics. It's okay, okay, that okay that you can be at home and still listen, but okay. And that's it. Thank you very much and congratulations, Pavel, for your work. And thank you for all the cooperation we have. Uh, questions? Andre Haki. In, in your classification of uh, psychic biobillion, uh, so this invariants are invariants of the group or invariants of the presentation? No, no, there are invariants of the, of the group. group. The groups are isomorphic if and only if. This is a list of invariants. Okay. okay. Uh, and the second question, uh, so you have these two groups, GH. Uh, did you try to extend them by C2, for example, and obtain also, so non-isomorphic, but... Uh, is a morphic group algebra, and then in this way follow and maybe uh, obtain an infinite yeah, yeah, proto yeah, group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, when you have one uh, counter example, you can produce a lot of them. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe I don't speak it. Okay, you can take C2 as a direct product, but really I want to produce two generated uh -huh. uh, proto group in such a way that. Uh, uh, completed group algebra is amorphic, but uh, in each question you really see you different. Completed because of <laughs> you want you mean just group okay. algebra or completed group algebra? Yeah, it's completed. Okay, it okay. will be completed because it okay. will be inversely. But okay. okay, so in each question you have in each question you have a different group, but the same group algebra. This is my question. But of course, not by trivial I, reason. I, well, I, we didn't think on that and. It could, be, I mean, because you are thinking now in, in some kind of asymmetrician problem for completed group algebra. Okay, yeah, this is another question, but uh, this will be some uh, infinite family of examples which uh -huh. are obtained as quotient of one single uh, to generate it. Proto group. 
Oh, too, too different protocol. We, we haven't worked on that. But of course, this is an infinite family of examples, but so you wanted something. No, yeah, I different. wanted, yeah, to increase the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, do you mean it's infinite? Uh, well, no, because it, there are two, two uh, of them. So this is. You said it's two to the eight, no? No, 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 no. Observe that there are two invariants here, n1 and n2, which the only uh, condition is that uh, in the sample, the only condition is that the n1 is strictly larger than n2, and m is exactly two. Ah, okay. And n2 is also, so this is an infinite family of this. Ah, maybe it's, uh, it answers my question. Okay, I have to, okay, yeah. I. I, I, I want to use your question <laughs> to say something that I didn't have time to say. Yeah, but I, I want to, to mention that the smallest one is when N2 is three and N1 is four. And in this case, the, the order is two to the nine. Uh, two to the nine. Not so this is the smallest example, the smallest possible because we know that the, the, the model of official problem has a positive solution for a smaller size of two groups. Okay. And remember that I, I mentioned that Bettina Eich have believed that they have proof for two to the nine, but this shows that this is not correct. Okay, that was the bug in the in the and actually uh, Leo Margolis and, and mother had show that these are the only uh, counter assembly of order two to the nine. Like the, by the, they fixed the, 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 the DNA program and surprisingly, there are, there is only this example mm -hmm. in this. So we were extremely lucky. But I also want to mention that this sample is really, is really in the edge of all the previous results. For example, in, 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 in the previous results, uh, here I think I forgot some hypothesis, sorry. Uh, here I think I forgot to, I don't know which is of, of class. Oh yeah, no, 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 it's, it's okay. So for example, for elementary variability and cyclic groups, the, 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 the answer is positive, but observe that in this group, in this particular group, the derived subgroup has or is cyclic of order four. So it's very close to elementary abelian, but it's not elementary abelian. Okay. But also in this result with Broche, we prove it for two generated of class two, and this is uh, these groups have class three. Okay, so somehow many of the results are were exactly. I mean, somehow I was disappointed, as I told you before, because there are strong assumptions, but they were needed. As soon as you remove one of the assumptions, or some of the assumptions, then the country sent also up. Okay. So that's why I wanted to, to mention those results. Okay. Some other questions? Could you please say some in several words about perspective of this area? So suppose to be more concrete, suppose that some in some situation a counterexample or example of non-isomorphic groups uh, with isomorphic group algebra, no matter which is the ring is found, and in that case it would be natural to modify uh, the conjecture, which now uh, uh, turn out to be a wrong or fail, uh, modify, modify and to state new conjecture somehow, which would be um, somehow have good chance to become true. So do you have this kind of conjectures? Well, and no. how you would describe the perspective of further um, development in the area? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I think that I don't have a real good conjecture, but uh, the way you pose the, the question is what I think which is important is of course the isomorphism type is not described by the, the group algebra, but the, the, I think there is a, a lot of 
uh, space for question of the kind particular concrete information from the, the group, which information from the group you can obtain. Okay, so that's why I started. You, maybe the, the isomorphism uh, type is, is too much, but a uh, question of the kind of uh, whether the group algebra knows um, the, or the group brings knows uh, about solvability, about the solvable length, about many questions, okay? Uh, so, and this is what I, I think which is interesting. For example, uh, um, as, as I told you in the counter example, the way to distinguish the groups were the centralizer of the derived subgroup that were different. They have even different exponent, okay? But for example, uh, uh, one of the consequences of the, of the positive result on characteristic other than two, okay, with, with Diego Garcia Lucas and, and Nimel. Uh, I mean that remember that several of the invariants we were able we were able to describe, but one of the consequences is that is that 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 the group algebra for p different from two in that family of groups con, uh, knows is the isomorphism time of the, the centralizer of the derived subgroup. Maybe this is too specific. But you want to know which other information is really determined by the group algebra. Okay, and depending on which which uh, aspect of your group you might be interested, you you may want to know if the group algebra knows that. Okay, this is what I think which is of interest. Besides to also somehow to to know. I mean, I, I would like also to, to, to find a, a border, okay? So what is the, the limit up to which families of group, which nice families of groups, really the, the group algebra determines the group, okay? So what is exactly the border? So that's why I was interested in this question about metacyclic between abelian and, and metabelian for group algebra. More questions? I have comments and questions. Well, first, uh, I want to uh, explain a little bit uh, the question, uh, the origin of the question uh, you mentioned that we uh, in the last talk. Right? The point is the following: that uh, when I uh, people uh, were started to uh, uh, to be interested and investigate the profinite completion of uh, groups that comes from uh, geometry, right. especially fundamental groups of manifolds, right? I I was around uh, these people, and then I uh, asked the question: Okay, you, you doing this, and what is the motivation, right? And they say we want to understand whether finite quotients of fundamental group determine actually the manifold. And then they ask, wait, and what about fundamental group itself? And they say that in three manifolds, it is practically always the case. So there is one very small counterexample but for the sake of conversation can be omitted, practically the case. And from this, all right, it came to me when, uh, uh, when I listened to your talk and, uh, and Eric talks that about this, uh, what is uh, looking on the left, all right? And we were always studying the unit group, then I asked natural question whether the whether unit groups determine the group. And I got very quick answer, well, during the day, all right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like in geometric group theory, I said, okay, well, units determine the group ring. So what about finite quotients of the units? Do they determine the group ring, right? So actually my interest was uh, rather not to say, I mean, it reduced to the question you just, uh, you, uh, you formulated, but my interest was actually motivated that whether finite quotients of the unit groups, right, determine the group ring itself. Right, it is uh, just a motivation. Now, uh, secondly, uh, uh, well, yes, our cooperation uh, started exactly as you discussed, and but many times I, uh, I, uh, when I come to Rio, I visited Murcia, right, and I want to thank the hospitality and our collaboration. Uh, I'm very pleased with our collaboration with Angel. And uh, my question was actually, it was uh, a question, half of the question Andre already asked, right? But my question was more naive because you always considered here G and H finite groups, right? 
So my question is, uh, when you consider infinite group, it is completely out of the, the question is completely so negative that it, it doesn't uh, make sense to consider or uh, it is not approachable or there are some hope for some groups in when, when it is group infinite uh, to have a positive answer. No, 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 I mean, there are, I think that there are hopes to get nice results on, in infinite groups, it's just that I only was working with finite groups, okay? But, mm -hmm. But yes, I know some 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 research done on infinite groups, and but the the the, the techniques are or some of the techniques that I use doesn't work in that situation because it's, it's, now it's completely different. The the as I mentioned the the fact that the the group of units is commensurable to with other arithmetic groups which are can be people have worked longer and there are more techniques makes the, the case of finite groups of a special cat. Mm -hmm. So the techniques used in that situation are not going to work or some of the techniques are, not, are very specific for finite groups. Okay, thanks.